Sen su be. How's that, Magnus? Is that better? Glenn, is this any better?
lite fläktare. Everybody can hear us now as well, which is good. I wasn't too far away. Thanks, George. It's going to be nice here if we've got on that one by the back. Just like that. Very good opportunity here to go two one up. Eh? It's got to be careful here again. Then I'm going to be nice and then too hard here. And make sure. Yeah, play that one first. Yeah. Yeah, that's one. I was just going to say if you don't go for the other one, just go for it. It's fast and black. At least you've got a short game. Of frame four, dry break. I'll try harder there for you, Jason. I know it's hard to get up, but if you do, 
you drop one. I'm real drop one. And we make Craig Brown, by the way. Everybody else can now. We've turned it up. He's still all right. He's still guarding this top pocket. See the angle of the yellow, the skill shots, they're not really the No, but. I've turned it up a bit more, is that any better? Yeah, I get what you mean, Jason. So hopefully this is uh, now a lot better and uh, we're all good now.
Yeah, no worries, Jason. It's uh, much appreciated. I'd rather than anything else. Yeah, Is breaking. That's the thing about these long matches, though. That, that you, you'll go in stages that it might not go your way at the start, but. <coughs> It will tend to come back towards yeah. the middle. It will even itself out over the map. Obviously, Gilly not drinking. Is he not? No, he's not drinking. He's on uh, orange and lemonade, everyone. <coughs> so he's going to take a few frames to. Yeah, settle down. <laughs> settle down. <laughs> I think someone needs to buy him a pun. I did offer. He didn't want one. Hmm. He might change his mind in a minute. <laughs> I think he definitely will. Yeah, I think once he settles into his flow, he'll be alright, he just needs to settle down. That's the side of the game, Reds. Not the easiest of clearances, but there is a route. Yeah. Just to leave yourself straight and then it's just drop. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Yeah, three uh, Matt, Matt has come to play.
That's what we're looking at here. Reds better slightly. Yeah, you've got more opportunity to uh, get your problem balls out. Um, neither of them are nice. But I think reds are the way to go on this frame. It's all going to be how he takes his route. If that yellow in between the two reds at the top of the table is being looked at, if that goes into the top right it pocket, which it looks like it does, that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, that's a good job. Yeah, that was his only really difficult ball. I'm, I'm guessing from him playing that shot, that yellow does go to the top right. Yeah. Now he's either going to go cross double or red down the cushion. I think I'd, I'd be playing the red down the cushion. But I'd be playing it in such a way that it, you, you're not trying to pot it. Yeah. You're trying to cover that bank. <coughs> If you play it that slow, then you've got to leave the yellow with the other. Yeah, you are. Um, but you are covering the pocket for the black. I think he's going cross double. Yeah. Oh, he's gone enough. <coughs> On his previous shot, getting that yellow out, um, he's pretty much left himself now. Now, uh, now with the free visit as well, he's um, pretty much left himself a relatively simple finish. It's just all about his cue ball yeah. control. Yeah, I think he has read that one slightly. Yeah. Is the, uh, yeah, he needs to be straight on his yeah. second to last yellow ear. Yeah, that's fine. Just a little run through. He would like to leave himself an angle on his last yellow. So he can come back out for the black. Mm. Well, he's certainly got one. Mm. I think that's too thin to even try for the cut now. Not that I, I, I. The double to the bottom right pocket here is really hard because he, he's got <coughs> missed two reps. And I don't think he can do it. Yes, yeah. He's gone reverse double. He's got away with that, yeah. I think. Oh. Now are you covering the bag? I think I'm playing that yeah. red down the left hand cushion, but in such a way that if you don't pop the red, the white comes out and goes underneath the black, so you're snookering gilly. Um, so you're playing a two way shot here. Um, I think you'd need to concentrate more on getting the white behind the black than more on the pot. But he's cued it really well. Now have you got to go for it? Yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, again, he's... he's 
I was going to say he had a, he had a couple of options oh. down there that yeah. even if he hadn't yeah. potted, he would have still left it relatively safe. But Matt has definitely turned up tonight. Um, he, he looks like he wants this tonight. He wants his revenge. Players have decided tonight as well, after every seventh frame, they'll be having a five, ten minute comfort break. Um, give you all a chance to go and put the kettle on, pour another beer. So he massively underhit that one. Yeah, I think he's just going to... Yeah, he's just going to bounce this one off the top cushion and leave it safe again. I wouldn't have gone that way. Yeah, I wouldn't have gone that way. I would have gone the white to the left of the red. Um, you only had to bounce it off the bottom cushion an inch or two. And oh, he'll take that. He'll take that all day long. Seven. <coughs> no, not the best break in the world. But like I say, at least he hasn't gone in off this time. He's got a red in the middle. opened up all Guinness yellows. <coughs> I think if Guinea can go into the break after this frame four three R, I think he'll he'll be thinking to himself he's got a wing. Right? Yeah. And that could change the whole match then. Because Gilly's gonna come back into the field a bit more confident. Not so much. Oh yeah, he's a great front runner. He's an absolutely brilliant front runner. Oh, where's the wife? Where's the wife? Yeah, he's had two lovely little flicks in the last two frames.
got no internet. Gilly's cue ball control has not been as pinpoint as he normally is. He's just overrun, run, run slightly. Yeah, that's not right. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
Taking the plant on now, even if he gets it, what's he actually going to leave himself with? He's still got a lot of issues in that pack. Yeah, it wasn't the best break, was it? <laughs> 
They are racking their own as well, so it's only themselves to blame. in their own games as well boys so um yeah it's down to both players to uh keep an eye on the game and call any fouls that they see Still, he, he's just put that yellow in as much trouble. Yeah. Uh, he's done himself no favours. <laughs> no, the, the the only consolation he's got is he can play off of one yellow to plant the red onto the yellow and pot later on, but. This is a case of who takes that shot. Guinea tried it then. so he can play the skill shot. <laughs> right, Gilly could go for it here. I think if he drops this one down to the bottom right, leaves himself with the one down the bottom left, he's can then leave himself the angle on the one yeah. into the middle to play the skill shot. Oh, that's a great shot. That's a great shot. The amount of side he had on that. I think he's been unlucky that he's not left himself a shot on the one on the top left. Yeah, he's got to go middle now. Yeah, it's a... It's a little bit of love on. Yeah, it's a bit dangerous though because uh, the red, uh, cue ball is going to come screaming down to this bottom right hand pocket. I don't even know where the red goes. Oh, he's going for the plan. Oh, hello. Yes and no. <laughs> Can he play the double? Oh, he's getting away with these little flicks and yeah, yeah he's uh, he's certainly riding his luck at the moment. But that's the thing with these long races as well; the the luck will change as well at some point. 
was going for the snooker, I think. Yeah. Two hardest things to get out of Gilly. No, Gilly really needs to be the one on the cushion. Top left. If you drop that one in, the one on the top lane would go along underneath. Yeah. And he could play it off the second, the, the right hand red to open up that pocket. Yeah. yeah. A bit. Um, either that, or he's going to drop this one in and snoop it again. But take away the up and down. frustration make him go for it and he's got away with that one again and he I was going to say I, I, I think he would have wanted to come down do the up and down but come off the side rail yeah. to cut the bottom the right hand red in to get the angle to come back out so he had another shot but as it happens it's turned out all right again. <laughs> now what do you do? So I, would, no, I don't think so. Well, he's, he's looking at it. Yeah. Other than that, because I don't think it doubles past the black. If it does, it's very tight. Um, so he's either got a treble or if everything cut into the middle. So, um, but I think he's going to have to take the pocket, try and go under the red. Oh no! Oh, Gilly! Massive chance for Gilly. Yeah. Okay. He's just not 100% settled at the moment. No. I think once he gets in his stride, he'll be okay, but he's got to settle down, and he's got to settle down quick. So at the moment, Matt's not punishing his mistakes. Yeah, he's got to come off the side rail now, isn't he? Off the bottom cushion, off the top top side rail. Oh, he's going all the way round. Oh, that's unlucky. It was a great effort. Evening, Michoel. Yeah, 
play that one. Yeah. Very frustrated with himself yeah. at the moment. There's a lot of frustration. Mm. And this is where Matt needs to punish him. If Matt can start taking out these chances that Gilliard is given, um, that would just frustrate Gilly even more. So even if Matt can get two or three ahead. Yeah. standing right behind us. <laughs> goes for it, he's got to make sure he gets it. Because um, if he misses and leaves Gilly open, Gilly should yeah, care about it. Yeah. I think he's got to look at, he's, he's got to pot a ball here and put him in the position where he can really stitch Gilly up with a snooker. Um, but he hasn't got... I think the red on the... Red in the middle. Yeah, I think the red on the bottom, or the left-hand side cushion, the day box, as we look at it, I think that's ball that's used to, that's that, that's ball to snooker behind. Trouble is, the more balls he takes off the table to get to get in the snooker, yeah. the easier it's going to be for Gilly to get out of the snooker. Yeah. Yeah, 
not the only issue. The going game, he's, if he doesn't get it, he's leaving Gillian with the opportunity to take this run. And as you're watching it, Gillian's definitely not going to back. Yeah, definitely not. Getting the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like the end of it, but. Wow. <coughs> this is where he needs to stop getting frustrated with himself. Because the more frustrated he's getting with himself, the more he's going to get even more frustrated yeah. because he's going to miss more balls. So he, he needs to calm down, settle down. There's nothing you can do about what you what what you've already done. That's been it's gone. Um, Matt's missing a trick there though. Yeah, yes. That was a good shot. Considering how frustrated he is right now, that, that was a good shot. You can't get Gilly back for chances. No. And again, he gets away with it. goes in front, the more confident he gets, the better he gets. But if you can get in front of him and keep him frustrated, the more he'll miss, because the more he'll get frustrated with himself. Again, obviously now, big chance to come back to yeah, he's good. He, yeah. yeah, he can take control of this right now. And to be fair, he's, he's only got that one difficult ball. Which is good. Which Slightly off angle, but if he can put enough bottle on it. <coughs> and he, 
on these tables, you don't have to hit them that hard, so he, he'll give the cue ball enough time to get out of the way. Oh, no. He's unlucky. Oh, he's unlucky there. It's good effort. Yeah. Now, Gilly's got the same thing, because all his reds bar one has a pocket. <laughs> and the thing is, the two reds are Bottom of the good angle. Yeah. <coughs> so that to me says it's a sign that Guinea knows he's not playing too much. Yeah, yes. Yeah, he's definitely in that from pop room. He, he doesn't play safety. Yeah, he's safety's in that. Yeah, it's not. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, that's on my camera. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the luck is definitely along the gimme side as well. But up until this point, he's always been. Yeah. 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 Oh, easy, yeah. Oh, you're in the right Four, five, he's gone. Four, five, he's gone. Yeah. And his break is usually pretty on the Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I think he's pretty blatant that he's not practiced as well as he's practiced. Oh. He's there in a nutshell. Yeah. Sums up the game because he's yeah, exactly. probably going to kiss that jaw. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that. definitely, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, it would have hit the jaw coming it would have been perfect on his neck ball. Sounds like someone else on them. Not mentioning no name. And thankfully there's no mirror around him. Oh, he, he would have already potted this one, he'd be on his next one already. But I think if he takes these out now and he goes three frames in front of him. Yeah, I think he's in the back Can you notice his cue ball now? He's, he's not moving it that much at all now. Whereas before, yeah. with his little overruns and underruns. Yeah, he's still yeah, settled down. Settled down. Settled down. <laughs> It's still a tricky little finish. I think if he stuns this one in, he's got a nice angle. I'm not too sure if he's going to try and cannon into the other yellow or no, he's dropping it in. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. I'm guessing he's had a look and we're sure that yellow is in the middle. Does he now go long? It's 
still fancies it in the middle. Just, just yeah. This is thin, whichever way he goes. So the foul break. Yeah. That's, that's the thing now, that needs to yeah. focus now. And then a little bit like Gilly now. Yeah. Because Matt wasn't playing too bad this time. No, he wasn't. He, and he looked like he had turned up and he was really on it to start with. But I think he's now getting frustrated because he's had those little flicks where he's gone in off. He's popped yeah. back now um, out of turn. Um, things like that. He, he would have popped that in the first yeah. five or six rounds. Um, so he's now getting frustrated. And, and then the thing is, every time that misses, he's leaving Gilly on. Yeah. yeah. And, he's, and because colours haven't been decided now, he's given, given yeah. top control of the table. Yeah. <laughs> and now with every ball, Gilly pops, his confidence is going to get more and more. Six, seven frames, he would have overrun. Yep. Oh, hello. Why is that coming Do not play strings here. I put, put it on the knot. So put it on the knot. Do play strings here. I want to do it. You obviously have the first one. But I think he's got to now. Oh, yeah, he has to, yeah. <laughs> Well yeah, he's he's got to, Matt's got to go game now. He's he's got to get off the Yeah. Two Yeah. Because at the moment. So the, the shot he played then, he's just just played the red off the yellow. And it's now in the middle pocket. Which I know, you know, it's it's now not as easy as a shot as it should be. No, but he's he's <laughs> He leaves a slight angle on it, that he can take it down to the or take it up to the top left. Leave a slight angle where he only has to stun across a little bit for the one down to the bottom right. Yeah. It it's not the end of the world for him. So it'd be lovely now. Just stun it in. You've got a nice angle to put it in the middle, but I gotta admit, I'd, I I I would have again tried to yeah. pop the pop the ball that he's just potted, but bring the cue ball across. So we have that ball in the top left. Pretty much he's going to have to deep screw this all the way back. That's not too bad. Yeah, he, he, he's got the angle where he can come off the left hand side cushion and come back across. Yeah. 
Yeah. There we go. Actually, earlier, he wouldn't have had that nice little flick to leave him with that shot. No. So, is this where the luck started to change a little bit? It's going to be one of his favourite names. Was it? This is when it becomes a game now. He's not as flowing as Gilly when he plays in this. But there's two shots in this. The could change. Yeah. Gilly having that yellow coming in the middle. Yeah. And then Matt getting a little flick on the red to leave him so he had the angle to get back on the black. Now, earlier, that would have been the other way around. Yeah, definitely. And then, so he's just those little things that could turn this match on the table. Right, let's see if Gilly can actually uh, not go in off this time. I think he's got to go red here and then, just simply because of where the cue ball is. That yellow in the middle goes into the middle, past the other yellow. Yeah. I think he might be going for the yellows. It's tight, I'm not sure he's got enough. If it goes, I don't know. It looks like he's going to go for it. I know, oh, yeah, he's going to go red. Yeah, he's all right. I'm assuming that red goes past the yellow at the top. He could probably just flick it off the jaw nicely. Then. Yeah, if he just rolls it in, it, it will slide off the jaw. He didn't like the shot, but I think it's... It's clean. It's clean. Now we could play the double here, and he will still be on the, bottom, um, the top red. Or a couple of shots. He yeah. Now. Or he takes the top red and he I'd plays it with right hand side. Top red, right hand side. Yeah. yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. See what I mean about those little flicks and the not turning now? Oh, he's he likes it, he's in. It was a good shot. <laughs> it still goes past it. Yeah, he's going, he's going to go a thing cut to the top right hand side. I can't see him playing safe here. No, I can. Yeah. Where did he go? Going for the middle. Oh! Going for the middle. oh. I was thinking just thin cut it top right hand side, but yeah, that, that would have been a great shot. <laughs> now, what can that reply with? Again, where the balls are, I think he's got to go game again. Oh no, he's going to go play sleeper and he's yeah, got to yeah, make sure. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. Because last time. If he has got an edge, it's thinnest to edge. Because remember, he tried to play snooker earlier and didn't get a cushion, did he? So. That was a great effort. And again, earlier in the <coughs> first part of the match, Matt would have gone for that. Yeah, yes, Two, mate. No. No, no. 
Scott has got to go for it. He, it. I mean, they're all there. They are all there. Picking the watch or playing it? Oh, yeah, we're definitely picking the watch up, I think. Yeah. I certainly would have picked a white arm. Because that yellow was possible where it was. Yeah. Yeah. That was the risk. He, he, he played it well to make sure he, he missed the, or it didn't go enough in the middle bank, but that, that was the risk he had with that. Yeah. I feel he sped up a little bit from what he was earlier. He was more controlled earlier. I, I think because he knew Gilly was playing well, there's an element of safety. Yeah. That was good. So if he wins, this would be back to back frames. So. Seven, four, seven, six. Yeah. Sort of yeah, and getting chances in both of those frames yeah. as well. So great man. I was just thinking when he broke the red came round the table, but I didn't see any other come past the middle. No, um, in black ball it's two past the middle of the line. It's either two past the middle line or obviously you, you pop one. so many rules out there now, and the rules are changing all the time, so obviously the ultimate rules or ultimate pool have now um, joined forces with the EPA, so that's now international rules. Um, IPA is still black. Um, 
but it, yeah, it can get confusing at times which which rule is in which set. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. It's for the players to call. Yeah. I just spoke to Guinea in the toilet. He was in the toilet. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, he only knows he's not playing. Yeah. But in the same breath, he knows he's 7 6 up and not playing well. We'll be going to a break now for this frame as well. Yes. Um, and and this, this frame, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's big. Expensive. It's, it's bigger big again because so. where, where we said in the first first break, where Gilly was 4 3 up, that he would have been coming into that break thinking, I'm actually doing all right here because yeah. I should have been way behind. And that now we'll be going into this break going, four, three up, yeah, thinking, oh, I've, I've won this one 4 yeah. 3. Um, and I should. I, I was seven four down. I've now brought it back to seven all. Um, he would be the one feeling a lot better. Um, as I say that. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, he, he he could have been a lot worse than even eight six down. Yeah. Because um, giving had chances in those two things, so he could have quite easily been nine four down. Giddy's going to play red on yellow and black out. That's what he's looking at, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that, that red on the top rail now is his last ball yeah. to get the ball. I don't think he'll leave it to the last ball, though. Yeah, I'd, I'd be easy. He'll, he'll, want to, he'll want to keep one of the well, middle balls yeah. in case it does It's last ball if you can't get the black out before. Yeah. yeah. So you can actually go down, you, you can like like screw off of this, get the black out, then you're still going to be on the one in the middle. Sleeping on the middle one, you fucking cunt. You might have heard him in the background Sorry there. Sorry about the foul <laughs> Um, but yeah, you can hear him in the background going, no, I should have been on, on the one in yeah. the middle. <laughs> yeah, that's why you left that one. Yeah. Oh, he's... Oh. But again, like we said earlier, Gilly would have had the little flick. He would have been still on the one in the middle. Now those little flicks are just going the wrong way for him. Yeah. Um, and even that, the one he just doubled, he would have flipped it in yellow and it would have gone in. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah if, he, if he makes this pop now, it should be his frame. He's yeah, going he's into the break 7 all. Which for Matt. Say why we're on a break. If you can get more comes up with a new prediction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think that five's gone right out of the market, but yeah, that was Gilly. Something he's cute. He's not happy again. And there we go. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Right, five minute break, boys. Oh, we have to do that.
And we're back. And we're back. Seven all. Game on. So during that short break, Giddy had a little practice. And he's potted the ball finally off a break and the white's on the table. <laughs> It's all right, he's still on one. Do you almost feel like he needs a break this year just to yeah. get his head back yeah. in the game? I think what he needs to yeah. do is he, he needs to start going for it a bit more, but not stupidly go for it. Don't go for it if it's not there, um, which obviously sounds quite obvious. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, start potting balls. Get that confidence back up. <laughs> going long Left on this one. The long yellow. Going long. If this goes, or he, I mean, if he's going for the dropping in the middle, that's a tough shot. No, I think he's going up. The yeah, here. yeah. That was a great it. shot. Great shot. So now a little bit aside. Yeah, if he takes his frame there, that should boost his confidence. And as much as he might have been whinging, and oh. as I say that, <laughs> um, yeah, as he was, he, he wasn't particularly happy about the five, the yeah. little comfort break, but I think it might have done him the power of good. So he had a practice frame during the break. Right, Matt has got an opportunity here. He's just got to take his time and pick the right route. That's it, because they're all there. Yeah. Because that one on the uh, right-hand cushion, he could leave that for his last ball. Yeah, yeah. Because all he's got to do is drop it in. He's going to be on the black. Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. So does he play the... Bottom red on the left now. Try and knock the other red out. Knowing that you're going to be on the. Well, yeah, theory. you're going to be. You should be on should something. Be on the, oh, he's unlucky there. Now I got to admit, where he is now, I would be taking that I'd still play, on the yeah, left hand side the to the top left. Yep. Yeah. Which I'm assuming he's going to do. Yeah. Because again, he, even if he drops this in and he doesn't get it, no, he's played that perfectly. Yeah, he has played it well, but he could have played that in a way <coughs> that even if he hadn't got it and he covered yeah. the pocket, Co yeah. he would have been behind the black and Gilly would have been snookered. Pop this one out now. Yeah. Yeah, he's played that well. He's got a nice angle as well. Yeah, just stun it off the top stun cushion. A little bit of side. Or a bottom cushion, sorry, as we're yeah. looking at it. Yeah. There we go. Very so good if, he, if he wins this frame, it's, it's starting to look... Oh, it'll frustrate Gilly no get end. Into, yeah, get yeah. his head. Because Gilly Cause knows he, he should he have He can just drop this in one. now. Yeah. Hasn't got to do anything with a white ball. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks like yeah, from, Gilly. yeah, seven four down. Yeah. He's now eight seven, seven up. Yeah. Yep. Yep. There we go. Did um, did Kev come up with his another score line? No, not yet. No, he hasn't. Still thinking, Kev. <laughs> The 
thing is, Matt's doing now what he should have done in yeah, the first, earlier, first yeah. session. Yeah, he, he, he's now punishing those mistakes yeah, yeah. that Gilly's given him. And I think Gilly's going to get even more frustrated now because he knows he should have broke dish that one. Break, yeah, yeah I, I, I got a funny feeling Matt is not racking them very well for himself. Be, no, they seem to be quite loose. They're not, yeah. they're not splitting at all. There's the frustration. Yeah. So I, I, I do think that if... Matt can win the next couple and pull three ahead. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, no, Sam. <laughs> yeah, slightly different than last time. Evening, Sam Nash. <laughs> yeah, he's certainly not, not had it his own way this time. It's almost been a, a tale of two halves so far, hasn't it? It's the yeah, definitely. Yeah. Both, both the sessions were won by. Yeah, it was four three. Yeah. Four three either way. Matt really should have won the first session. And Gilly really should have won the second session, and it, it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, G Gilly could have quite easily been five two down for a session, and he. He went out he, of he it, 4-3, four, three, three up. Yep. <laughs> up. Um, and, yeah, he could have quite easily been 10-4 up. Yes, yeah, yeah. And it went 7 all. so... But you, you definitely called it earlier, the, the, um, those little bits of luck are starting to swing now. Yeah. And I've just got this feeling that Gilly is still frustrated with himself. But the, the thing is, he will now until he gets a frame back. Yeah. He will. But because that's of that, I mean, if Matt yeah. can keep punishing him. Yeah. But because of that frustration with shots like that, yeah. he's he's gonna go for things that he probably shouldn't. But that's, that's, that's the gilly way, isn't it? Yeah. He, he, he tries things that but he, being most, in most the of us look at and we can't do, and he nine times out of ten, he'll put them out. But yeah, but because he's in that frustrated space, yeah. and he's standing right behind us again now. <laughs> um, I, 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 do, I, I think the next two frames are massive in which way this match will go. Yeah. There you go, Kev's gone 15 12 to Gilly. 15, 12, if he can find his game. If you find it first, Kev, you better text him and tell him where it is. Angular, isn't he? Yeah. Lovely angle there, just to <coughs> Would you use this red now in the middle of the table? Hold for the yellow? Because the black goes. If the black goes, then yeah, he needs to move that red out of the way. Yeah. 
I think Basically he did. Still, I yeah, just think he overscrewed it. He's got to play this bang on now, hasn't he? Yeah. That's quite a small gap there. Or do you go big and screw into it and see what happens? We're about to find out. Yeah, he's not on it. No. But I don't even think he's got a total either, so yeah. that makes it even harder now. I suppose it sounds stupid. Is it close enough to that red that he might be able to clip the red and still go? He'd have to hit it really hard to do that. And I think it's too thin to hit it that hard to come off the red and travel all the way down to the bottom, bottom right hand pocket. Yeah, he's, he would have added it so much harder. Good use of the dollar signs there, Kev. So we're going safety here now. <coughs> yep, yeah. safety behind the red now. Oh, he's yeah, he's OK. But very nearly badly went wrong. Not, not really a hard safety to get out of either, if you can see enough of the bottom. I haven't heard him call for a total yet, so I don't even know if he is total. Yeah, that's the, that's the shot there. Yeah, but if he's not totaled, he's got to hit this. He, he's got to make sure he hits a cushion after. And I've not heard yeah, him but would you not just... Run the risk of it a little bit harder. He might go in. Yep. He, might yeah. pull, he might pull it down yeah. and out of the bag and fluke it somewhere. I was going to say that that was the only thing is he didn't want to yeah. push that red off the cushion. Now, if Gilly was confident and flowing, he would have cleared them up. He wouldn't have played that shot. But I almost, I like the fact he didn't, because now this isn't easy to get out of now. No, it's not. Um, but what I'm saying is, is he, yeah, he, yeah. He, if he was flowing yeah. and his confidence was up, he would have taken them out. Wouldn't have been an issue. Yeah, Sorry. wouldn't have been an issue to him. And this frame would be pretty much all, all over by now. Um, but... The good thing is, it shows he hasn't lost his egg completely. Yeah. So he's still fighting. So I'll put my neck on the line and say if he doesn't hit this... Oh, that was so close. I think Gilly will clear these up. Well, Gilly's tapped the table, so did he very thinly clip it? No, I, no. I'm, I didn't see the black move. I didn't see the black move, but... Yeah, it's a foul. Yeah. I think he was tapping for a good effort. Yeah. See, again, he's, yeah. his cue ball is not as pinpoint as what Gilly normally is. He's all right, he's but Gilly is normally, he's got that cue ball on a piece of string. and It's very rushed as well. Everything yeah. he's doing at the moment is quite, quite rushed. And if he goes for this and misses... Yeah. I'm not saying you jinxed him or anything. No, but... but but I am telling him it's your fault he's missed that ball. I just don't <laughs> think that was the shot. Queuing over the other red, it was... Uh, mm. Oh. That was your chance. That was your chance, yeah. Matt. And like Giddy's just said himself there, one good shot and it's... Mm. You've looks, got it. Looks all right for me. Yeah, that's a good shot. And again, if Gilly takes his frame, it's another frame he's got away with. Yeah, it's especially massive in this one. Yeah. That, that wasn't too hard a black, was it really? No, not really. I know a bit of pressure, but. Oh, Gilly. Oh, hello. Gilly. 
Wow. Wow. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Mark's a great front runner, but once he starts getting the options, he starts seeing the um, his tempo speeds up. I think Mark Matt's approach tonight's been good as well, isn't it? It's, it's very yeah. level-headed. Yeah. He's had his bad frames and he's not overly dwelt on it. Well, the thing is, he's stuck in there. Yeah. He's stuck at it. How many players would have, after that first session, the head yeah. would have gone? Because knowing that he wasn't playing well, I should have taken five of those frames. Yeah, easy. Yeah. But he didn't. He'd come out in the next session. Yeah, no, no, when you've, got, you've gone into the break... You should have been yes. five two up and you were four or three down. Thanks, Kev. Here to flick off that yellow and put the cue ball right underneath. Sorry, flick off the red to go right underneath the yellow and not leave Gilly a shot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he was thinking there. Evening, Mr. Billet. Obviously, we knew Connor wouldn't be coming down tonight. No, no. He's, you know, he's well and truly under the thumb now. Yeah, yeah Phoebe hasn't said he could go in. So this frame is massive for Mark. Yeah, huge. He's got to win this. And I, you just like to see him calm down a little bit. Mm. Thing is, he knows what to do. He's just got to not let that frustration get the better of him. But that's what I mean there. Like he's, yeah. he's just taking a bit of time. Is he slightly under it, that? I'm assuming that yellow passes. Yeah, three passes. it's yeah. fine. Evening, Jack. There we go. Who's on the comms? Well, me, obviously, and him. <laughs> uh, it's Craig. Craig Brain. It, it is, Connor. It's me. 
I'm single now, so I can come down. <laughs> <laughs> That was a huge frame for Gilling. Huge, huge frame. Yeah, that, that's... Um... <laughs> yeah, that hopefully that's a not that I'm biased, but <laughs> I'd like Mark to win this, but. But you did live with him for, what, four or five years? I d <laughs> it's one of those games oh. that it's literally yo-yoing, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. I still wouldn't like to call it either way. No, no. Not, no. At the moment, this has got 14 yeah. all written all over it. There's a lot of pool to be played, yeah. Yeah. And it's the first break that Matt's had where he's gone in off on the break. But in the same breath, after watching those, we had now 17 frames. I, I still think it's in Gilly's hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because the, the black that Mark, Matt missed yeah. um, just showed, I think, a little yeah. bit of his nerves crept yeah. in a little bit there. And that's what this game's going to be all about now. It's who can hold their nerve yeah. now and kick on. Well, the thing is, Gilly won't have he won't have nerves because he's been there mm. and done it yeah. as far as that sort of level goes. But I don't know whether his pulls up to obviously he's not up to scratch tonight. But no, he's certainly not playing like we all know Gilly can play. I, I still think. This this game's in. It will go how Gilly wants it to go. If Gilly doesn't play well, he's going to lose. Yeah. If he just knuckles down a little bit and realizes that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, in, it's, in that Matt, I think Matt's going to show a lot more nerves when it comes down yeah. to the crunch time. Yeah. Yeah. If Matt can keep his nerves under control and still yeah. pop the important balls. Yeah. Um, with Gilly. It's got to be okay. I'm not playing like I know I can, yeah. but I'm still winning frames, and I, I'm not letting his frustration get the better of him. Yeah. As soon as he lets that frustration get the better of him, that's when he falls down. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be who can sort their mental side out first. Yeah. Still got a shot. Does that red look like it passes? No, I think the no, black is the just in front. He's having a look now. Yeah. It'd be nice if it did. Yeah, it would be. It'd be ideal, but we'll soon find out. I don't know. Ooh. It looks like maybe it does. He's not left an angle to move it, so I'm assuming it. But could he, if it, if it doesn't go, could he use the yellow? Could he flick it off or the is yellow? Is he just going to try and cover a bag? Get it down there and something. Oh, it clearly went. It clearly went oh, yeah. great shot. <coughs> yeah, good clearance. Very good. What was um what was Kev's last 15-12? Yeah, 15-12. <coughs> you still confident, Kev? I don't think anybody's confident tonight. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Sorry, I, I've just read Wayne Passmore's comment there. I missed that one. You're right, Wayne. It doesn't matter how good you are, it's about who you're playing. Yeah. Sorry. That was further up. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Finally, he pops one off the break. No, no, that's his second. Oh, his second. That's his second. It looks like he's taken a little bit off the brakes. Because the white's not flying. Mm. No. I don't know where you're, you, you're driving there, Mitch. You'd be here in 10 minutes. No, yeah. <laughs> we, we both said there's, there's a lot more pull in this than. Yeah. The way this is going, I think he's got 14 all written all over it. <laughs> Uh, no, Kev's, Kev's happy with his 15-12. No, I don't know if he is. I, I don't know. Mm, maybe mm. maybe the, the pool's just not... Oh, that was a good shot. Maybe it's not coming across the same on the live stream as we're, <laughs> we're sitting here watching it. Mm. When you're saying you're playing your cash league game, Mitch, have you played it or are you still in the middle of playing it? And if so, what's the score? I was going to say, what's the score? And who are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything about my cash league game. Nor am I. Is Stephen Small on tonight? Is he? No. No, I didn't well, think. Well, if he is, he's didn't being very be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you can also be quiet as well, Kev. <laughs> of course, yeah. You yeah. lost to Kev, yes. Yeah. yeah. If he says he's anything. A, he's, a, he's a tidy player, don't yeah. he, old Kev? Yeah. We're, we're live streaming now, George. Oh, wait a minute, Matt. Mitch is 4 3 up and he gave a free start. So he's, he's four playing Matt Park. So he's 4 0. Yeah. I forgot to press me button. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Mm. Right, big shot coming up now. Well, he's got, he's got, got a perfect know. angle for the double just to come across for a red in the middle, but it's how. Well, he's either doubling, well he's doubling in the bottom doubling left. Doubling in the bottom, come across for the other. That is a That's, great yeah, that shot. That, is, he, he, that was a great shot. He's, yeah. he's actually very unlucky there. No, but he's um, not now because he's got another Well, no, he's got another double where he's got a thin no, cut. Thin cut, screw up for the black. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh. he's. Uh, be careful, <coughs> Kev, because I will mention that black. Right. This is this. Yeah, Gilly needs this one again. Now. Yeah, he needs this one again. Now, would you play the yellow into the bottom? On the left hand side? He wasn't happy with that one because I heard what he said. Yeah, because he's <laughs> got to force it in a bit now. Yeah. And the way his right's been going. Yeah, he's he's all got right. away with that beautifully. Lovely. Not got away with it. He played yeah. it well. Apparently, table three is rolling off as like Mitch rolling down a hill. <laughs> That's not a quick side, Mitch. He's overhit that one as well. Uh, he might have enough angle to go forward here and off the bottom or top rail. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, he shot. played that well. Game on then, people. 10 9.
Which one's table three? Just out of interest. That's the, uh, one the on back the room on the left hand left, side. Left hand side, yeah. I played on it the other day, Mitch, and it was perfect. Oh, right. What's he on about? What, Kev? Yeah. Yeah, um, well, I, I left myself in a really awkward queuing position, yep. and I did call that I was going to go in off, Got and a, I did go in off go on the black, well. yeah. yeah. Does it count if you call it? It should do. But at least I went in off on the black. I didn't try to pot the um, double the black into a middle bag, roll it around the bag, and then put it across to the opposite middle bag and take the frame to go on the hill. So, so he, he doubles the black. The thing is, Darren, you've got to remember, we've all played against you. Oh. And the amount of times you've done that to other players... That's not very nice. I oh, know. I was going to buy you a drink, I ain't man. But I don't drink tea. No, I was going to buy you an alcoholic <laughs> one. I'm certainly glad he ain't man. And by did, the way, did he not call it? Did he not call it that he was going? No, that way? no, no. no. Yeah. And by the way, you're fired. <laughs> Right, so we've got what we've we got now. Open table still. Uh, um, yeah, um, no, I no, I'm no, assuming. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So Matt's red. You With you not being nice to me, I forgot Sorry. to press me buttons. <laughs> Is it? I'm assuming it's. That is still the. What? I, well, I'm, I'm trying to understand why he didn't pop that one. But. He, he didn't leave it safe, he didn't put it, oh, has he gone oh. off? He's gone in off, has he? Oh, he's oh, oh, oh. Squeaky bum time. Mm. Right, Mitch, 5-3 up in his cash league game. Race to seven. Start the car. Start the car. <laughs> Yes, you should have, Kev. No, Kev, when you're playing Darren, you don't need to call it. Yes, you do. It's, no, precedent's been set. You've done it too many times to other people. <laughs> they can just do it to you and not feel bad about it. Big Slick, 172. No idea. Can um, Big Slick, 172, just... Um, let us know who you let are. Let us know who you are, because <laughs> I, I can't see the picture. It's that small. But thank you. It was... Um, yeah, it was a good win. I reckon you got lucky. I no, yeah, no, I definitely got lucky because <laughs> anyone <laughs> anyone that's played Stephen Small knows that you know how annoyingly good he is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I did only have a one start. It's not like I had a free start, and it was you know I had a one start. Hey, of course it is. And Neo, good evening. Evening, Anthony. I thought you would have been down here. Oh, no, sorry, you've moved, haven't you? Yeah, you're, ch you're ch chivening ch out. Yeah, you're chivening out. Oh. Yeah, and Anthony, have you got a prediction on tonight's score? Yeah, I'm sure you didn't, Kev. I'll remember it, it's fine. 
Kev, just re remember when you're playing Darren, you don't have to feel bad for any kind of fluke. I used to like you, you know. Oh, 6 3, Carl's. <laughs> Carl's Mitch is on his way. <laughs> Yeah, Jason, you left pretty sharpish, to be fair. You, you, what was it seven three? Seven three, yeah. Uh, but that was um, wasn't a reflection on the game. What start did you get there, um, Jason? Uh, I think it was a one start. Well, one year. One yeah. start, yeah. but um, yeah, Jason had a little bit like tonight. He, he didn't have any run of the ball at all. And right. Everything yeah. went. Uh, yeah, literally everything went. Brett's way. Brett's way. Yeah. No, no, not necessarily Brett's way, but nothing went for Jason. Yeah. I mean, Brett is a a solid player at the end of the day. He's. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I didn't mean that <laughs> negative against Brett. It's just the the way that he didn't get any of them thought. And it's obviously it's a short format, isn't it? Seven yeah. frames. Oh, Max wants to come down. He wants to catch a lift with Mitch. I thought Magnus would have come down earlier. I could have brought him, had he advised. Yep, thank you, Anthony, for stating the obvious. That, that's called sitting on the fence, Anthony. East Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great black by Matt. Uh, Gets that two frame lead again. <coughs> we have a match on our hands, ladies and gents. There's no 15 5 walkover this time. No. <coughs> Magnus, have you come down? I'm more likely to take you back, mate. I've got my car. And I've got mine as well. And Darren's got his car, so. But mine has got a taxi light on top of it, so <laughs> I will charge you. <laughs> yeah, so break after this frame. Matt obviously two ahead, so this one. Gilly's actually put one off the break again. Is now a big frame for Gilly. Yeah. If he, if he can come away 11 10 down. Yeah, that's going to be huge if, if yeah. he goes too I think if he goes 12. Oh, oh he's, hello. Yeah, he's starting to. Mm. Starting to thrash at him a bit now. He got away with that one. Big time. I don't think that's the last thrash we're going to have on this. Yeah, it's starting to go wrong again, isn't it? Again, he's, those little flicks that he was getting at the beginning, they've gone again. But the thing is now, there's no there's no control on the shots. No. He's just hitting them. And yeah, he's seriously frustrated now, isn't he? Yeah. Um, so now we'll see what Giddy has made of. He has got to dig deep, because he's... Um, He's all over the place at the moment. And I think if he if he comes at this break 12 9 down, I fancy Matt to take it. Yeah. But having said that, if he does lose this frame and he goes 12 9 down, as much as he might not want it, the five ten minute comfort break might do him a power of good. Yeah, yeah. Because he's he he needs to get that frustration out. Do you know the thing what I mean? is, that he's, every shot is just, it's rushed, rushed. Yeah. yeah. He's not taking any time over it. He's there you go, Mags. Run down to the back of the Liberal Club, so Cattle Market Car Park or Pages Lane Car Park. See, Matt now should really smell blood and just... <laughs> yeah. Even, even, I don't like saying it. Potentially play a couple of snoopers. Oh, yeah, by this time, yeah. Yeah, frustrating him even more, yeah.
Because in the grand scheme of how these frames have gone, this is not a completely open table. No. Well, it's, um, we've been here all night. It's, I yeah. think there's only been a couple of, is it one or two, maybe two dishes? Potentially. Yeah, I don't think anybody's had a dish yet. So they, I, they, they I don't think anyone's planned that. Well, I, I, think, I think Matt had one, one off with one of Gilly's breaks. Oh, so a reverse, went off yeah. A reverse dish, but... I know they're both capable. But oh yeah, they're certainly I'd, I'd capable. Definitely, but. definitely be. Well, you think about it, but when they met first time, I think Gilly had like six or seven break dishes or reverse dishes. Yeah. And I, he's not had one tonight. The thing is, Gilly got that in his bag, hasn't he? Yeah. Not, not. I'm not saying Matt hasn't, but. No, but what I'm saying is, is it, I mean, he was that flowing. He was that confident. Once he got ahead. Yeah. And uh, he, he just flowed. Yeah. Um, and just everything he did just worked yeah, so, yeah. and went. Yeah. Um, whereas tonight he's not had it all. It's his, not all been his own way. I think because like your normal shot now would be to play this slowly. But he's, he's slightly over on the line. That's not too bad. That's, a, that's the risk you run there when your safety's yeah. not a hundred percent. He's now in a bit of trouble himself now. But, but you can plant this one down to the bottom back, yeah. Yeah, cover the back, yeah. Mm. Let me just watch how long Gilly takes on this shot, because mm. and what he actually goes for. I mean, he's got the thing cut in the middle. Um, I'd fancy him to cut it in the middle. And potentially a bit of, <laughs> bit of left-hand side to come back down, or is he just going to roll it in? And he's oh, has that not gone in? I mean, he's, he's un all he's right. unlucky, but he won't, he won't on the next red anyway. So. Well, yeah, and he will, I suppose he had it. And I think he's covered enough of the potting angle of this yellow no, maybe? I think, I think he can roll one onto the other, yeah. Yeah. And Gilly will be really annoyed with that now. This, this shot here is massive enough. Yeah, he needs to hit the black. Come on, get this one in. Or just drop it in. No, no, no. no. Is, that, is that pressure? He, he went for that. He, I don't, I don't, I don't he know if he did. Plan to, he didn't plan to miss it, yeah. surely. Well, yeah, probably not. No, he did. Yeah. It's the only trouble, though, when, when, when you drop something or you roll something like that in, it, you, you have got to be accurate. Hmm. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, I, I, I just think that Mark's should be 12 head's gone 9. His head's gone. Yeah, that, that's 12. That, that should be 12 9 all yeah. over. Pot it direct, play off the red. Mm. Just, oh. just pot it. Just yeah. pot it. It's done, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> right. We will be back. Uh, five, ten minute break, and uh, we will be in for the final session.
Right then, ladies and gents, we are back for the final session of the evening. Matt is currently 12 9 up. Um, Gilly's just having a quick gentleman's break. And he's on his way back. Here we go. Right, Matt to break, 12 9 up. Yeah. Looking at your comment, George, three likes on the stream is actually doing pretty well. <laughs> Normally I'm lucky if I get one. <laughs> right, so we've still got Kev going 15-12 to Gilly, and we've got Steve Ellis, evening Steve, uh, going 15-3 to Matt. Great shot there from Matt. <laughs> Left himself only on one ball and he's played it really well. He's gonna have to pull out another good shot now, no? <laughs> Magnus and Mitch better hurry up. <laughs> Thanks, Martin. How is it down in sunny Plymouth? Is it actually sunny? It's been piddling down with rain all day here. I did answer that question myself just a minute ago, uh, Mr. Not a Darts player. You're really going to have to tell me your name one day because um, I can't keep on calling you Mr. Darts. <laughs> I would like to think there would be a, a third round of this one if it goes one all tonight. Sorry, I'm back. So what have I missed in this one? Uh, not a lot, really. Um, Matt broke off. Put the yellow, left him, uh, put the red. Left himself only one potential double, played the double really well. Um, and we're kind of here now. So I don't know what I've missed, but we it's down to the conclusion that Martin needs to win six yeah. to match three. Yeah. Well, 6-2 technically Mark needs to win, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. And Matt needs three. So. We are not going to Cornwall Glen because that wouldn't be neutral because that's where Boylan's from. <laughs> We're only going there if there's pasties on the menu. <laughs> uh, Martin Jules in, is he? Jules yeah, up. yeah. Yes, the performance is awful. Yeah. 
Beautiful. Oh, that's better from Giddy. <laughs> <laughs> That nest of guineas had his mouth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. say uh, a thank you to Glenn as well because he sponsored the stream tonight. Well done Glenn. Yeah, so if you like your fudge get down to Biddeford. Go and visit Fat Boy Fudge. That's unlucky for me. That's very unlucky because it looks like mm. oh, got I want a free sample though Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rematch played at the Green Man. <laughs> yeah. That'd be more than a challenge. Ooh. Yeah, not only would it be not only would it be a challenge to actually play the match at the Green Man, it would be a nightmare for me to actually set up the stream. I was gonna say. Have, have they got Wi Fi in Pilton yet? Yeah. They're there, yeah, yeah. They? I think it's dial up, <laughs> but um, <laughs> Yeah, it would be with no tables, Kev. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon rematch ought to be at Taunton All Star. I think it's, it's yeah, good yeah. shout, good yeah. shout. Might have to have a mic king. Yeah. Oh no, you could go to Brighton. Yeah, Fortescue Arms. You yeah. could go to Brighton. Yeah, Fortescue like Arms. Like yeah, or Fort sorry, sorry, Fortescue House Club. Mhm. Mm Obviously, th this frame is obviously an understatement. So it's huge for both players, really, isn't it? It's yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, um, hello. We've had a flyer. Four. <laughs> uh, the table up at the Green Man, Steve, is not a bad table. It's just um, you've got pillars and walls in your way. <laughs> um, the tables at the Eberly, well, they're non-existent anymore. <laughs> Nothing wrong with table two at the second stage. Right, yeah, I don't think he meant about the table here, Kev. I think he was talking about the green man. <laughs> I can't say anything about the Green Man table because that's my home table. <laughs> it's not, there's nothing wrong with the table. No, there's it's, it's definitely nothing wrong with the table. Yeah. Yeah. So, do, is he, does he look like he's got any kind of angle that you can. Or do you just play it in the top, screw back? I'm assuming he hasn't got an angle to get across to it. I think if he's going to play this to the bottom right pocket, he's got to leave himself. Oh, he's going middle. Uh, he's going he's middle. middle. Where does he land? Where does he land? Oh, he's he's land? No Not good. Not good. <coughs> I was going to say, if he went to the bottom right... I think it had to go bottom right, stun... And stun leave himself a himself double. A, yeah. Leave himself a double. He kind of... <laughs> yeah, he deliberately flew the white off the table. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Right. Hello. Oh, I was going to say, how's your luck? <laughs> now. Right, Gilly. He's had one chance. <laughs> I think this is this now will sum up who's going to win the match because there's no reason Gilly shouldn't take these out. No, he wouldn't. 
Yeah, up at the Green Man, Steve, I just take the... Well, I used to take the butt off me three-quarter cube, but now I've got a one-piece. Yeah. <laughs> I try not to leave myself in an awkward place. And he's, he's, yeah, he's not... He's just struggling. He's still got a shot here. And that, he just yeah, doesn't need to lose his He's got to be so yeah. right with this cue ball. And he's just... Yeah, he's just... Mm. Yeah, he's still not... Does it go? I'm assuming it goes. It, it must do. Um... But yeah, he's had that cue ball on a piece of elastic tonight, not a piece of string like he normally does. But he's pulled one back. And my scoreboard's frozen everything. <clears throat> there we go. Evening, Mr. Morris. How are we? I, I don't know Matt, Matt that well, but I don't, I don't know what his bottle's like. Is he? Yeah, I had a quick chat with him outside, and um, I said there that it's now in this final session. It's going to be all about who can hold their nerve the best. I oh, didn't hear anything go down. No, dry table. At least he kept the white ball on the table this time. And again, again they've just they've split lovely mm. here. That is the thing about Gilly's break. He, he does manage to split him really nice. He's just not getting anything at all tonight. He's not potting them. Well, he's had two breaks where he's potted, potted the ball. And I think he's had four or five where he's gone in off, which is not Don't Gilly's break at all, really. They, but neither of them seem on it. They just don't seem... Mm. Like, they're almost... They're forcing everything. Yeah. Everything's forced. It's not... Nothing's flowing. Yeah, no. It, it, it's like we said earlier. Um, Gilly's frustrated. Yep. Um, as we said earlier, he's a great front runner. Um... With Matt, um, because the last time they played and he lost 15 5, he's not been in this position. That's, that's, where, he's that's in front. where I'm, yeah, I'm questioning because so I, I don't know yeah. his mental state um, as far as yeah. sort of long distance. And I mean, the thing is, if he is nervous. He's actually hiding it quite well because he's still popping some good balls. Um, it is going to be if he gets on the hill first. Yeah. How well he can really keep it. If he gets an opportunity to win, that was a good <coughs> shot. Um, well. But Gilly really needs to. He, he, he needs to. Calm himself down and play what's in front of him. Yeah. Don't go for anything wild and take your chance when you get a chance. But don't try and force a chance. Um, so you, you still you still with me that you think it's in Gilly's hands here rather than Matt's? <coughs> um, if Gilly plays... I, th I think it's now... the table, just sorts his head out a little bit. He's, he's still... He's still got a chance, but either it's going to be who keeps their head yeah. the best. Um, so if this yellow passes a red... Yeah. See, that's good. So just avoid the cannon on the red now. And I, the two players that, at the moment... Right. He had to avoid that cannon. Yeah, he but to miss that, right? out of the two, and it's not by much, but Matt is seems more comfortable on the table. It's not that Matt. He's just he's a lot more level-headed. Yeah, he's not, um, not letting his, his bad shots affect him. No. There you go. Ooh, oh, you know, that was unlucky. That looked like it was in all the way.
So now this is massive beginning. Because if he misses, I'm sure he's going to leave that black. Yeah. And he's come short straight away. No. Well, he's got an angle to move the red off the cushion. <laughs> Quite thin, but yeah, but you can snooker him as well by uh, getting it off the cushion and snooker him at the same time. Yeah, that's yeah. what he's gone for, and he's over it. But that's a actually, if that's not a snooker, if that's not actually that bad. Well, it is and it isn't because then it throws in that realm of he's got the double yeah, potentially yeah. to the other one, you know. Yeah. If he, well, I'm assuming he can't see it. But the thing is, he can't just roll up to it now. Yeah. Um, he has got to. Oh, he's it, uh, well. Yeah, he's played it really well. Oh, that was unlucky. Um, but he had to play it in such a way where he, he had to hit a cushion after. Um, Again, he's, just, he's still no. getting down and just... Yeah. He's firing these balls in. Yeah. Not really... And this is what I'm saying. I, th I think he's trying to force a finish. Um, he's trying to force himself into winning frames and... I just, I, I think he's playing it like he's playing down a bit of practice down the pipe. He's not, he's not got his match head on at all. No. That's a great shot. Great shot. It's oh. almost like exhibition pool, isn't it? It's not. But that could be a good thing. Yeah. Because that, if he's... They've well done, uh, 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 as again. they say, you've got to play like it means nothing, but it actually means everything. Yeah. Um, Sorry, Darren. Um, the game up to now has been a flip um, of a coin, really. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's not it's not been pretty poor. A lot there's been a lot of scrappy frames, but. Yeah, they both had chances in frames. Evening, Mitch. Um, yeah, they both had chances in frames. They both given frames up that they shouldn't have. Um, they both nicked frames that they shouldn't have. Um, Mitch, just, just let you know, Mitch is in the house. He made it down here. Did you bring Max as well? Me, Max. Yeah, yeah Max. Oh, is Max here is well. here as well. <coughs> Thanks, Andy, as well. Thank you. I had six cars in front of us. Didn't know what speed to go. <laughs> But no, um, Keep plugging, boy. I think, um, yeah. So at the moment, Kev Gemmel's still, Going still 15, clinging 12, on to 15 yeah. 12 here. Is there bets on it? Is there bets on it? <laughs> <laughs> if there is, we don't know about it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, hopefully Giddy just just kicks on now and Evening Cat. Evening Cat. Come a bit straight on that. Yeah. He's going to have to give this some. Yeah. That's a great shot. Wow. To miss all the yellows, find that gap, that, that's a great shot. Got a little cut, cut in the middle. Yeah. Loads of side, has he got away with Oh, no. He's glued to that yellow. That was tough to get any kind yeah. of angle off that, though. Right, take time. It's a total. There we go. That's a great shot. That's better. That, that's unlucky. He wanted to be glued to that red, so Matt had no shot. Um, I think Matt can bring that down to the bottom left and put it. I think that squeezes through the gap of those two yellows in the middle of the table the, um, by the bulk line. Definitely marks in the driving seat in this frame. Definitely. All depends what he does here. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, 
he's not really left Gilly that much of a he's, shot. But, he's not. And but he could create a plant here. He could manufacture the plant. He don't, uh, I don't think he really need. He could play a half decent. Yeah, safety. safety. He didn't want the double kiss, but double kiss, he but will take that. <laughs> Again, it's those little flicks. Yeah. That I, I just, I personally think if this goes twelve all, I think Mark's. Mark's favourite. Mark's got yeah. it definitely. That's played. Oh, he's unlucky there. Unlucky. <laughs> Move chalk sport. I've got a feeling it's Mr. Milton. Is it Alex, is it? Yeah. Here we go. I thought Alex had gone missing. I haven't seen him around for a bit. Yes. Right. Get his pump now. 12 all. Yeah, 12 all. Game on. How's the chat been? Yeah, good. Good. Good response? Yeah, yeah, good. Been pretty steady. Nice to see people getting involved. Yeah, no. Nice to see everybody getting involved. I said to Mags in the car when we got in the car earlier, he said to me, um, oh, Gilly's lost his head. I said, yep, know it. I said, but just message him and say, we'll be there at 12 all. <laughs> Mystic Mitch is back. <laughs> That's right, I got told, we got told off last time. Yeah. <laughs> right, where are we at? Ooh. On the whole, it's not right. Gilly's not been playing his best. No, he's, as we it's, all it's know. been a bit... Uh, yeah. Um, hit and miss. With yeah. But Matt has actually turned up tonight. Bearing in mind he lost 15-5 last time. Yeah. Coming into this match knowing that he lost 15-5. Um, he's actually turned up tonight. He's played pretty well. Um, he's kept his head. Um, to, to a degree, it makes it slightly easier when you've had a bit of a thump. Yeah, yeah, you you kind of got nothing to prove. Yeah. Um, That's a good job. Yeah, you got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Um, yeah. But he's turned up. He's played well. He's taken his chances when he's been given them. He's given a few chances away, but he's still in it. And at twelve all, this is now a flip of a coin, and it is literally as I've been saying all the way through. Who holds their nerve the best? Who holds their head the best? Oh, at this stage, it's massive. Yeah. Like, little shots like that. that yeah. As much as it would be seen as negative, you're, you're in a position now where yeah. you're at the ballsy end of the game. So, mm. it's... As you, I think I was listening to one of, your, um, one of the frames earlier when I was playing my game, and you turned around and you said that... Um, something along the lines of that if Giddy was playing with more free flow yeah that he would have taken him out but he went a bit negative and played a couple of snookers instead I think it was quite early on I think it was like I think it was like 8-7 at the time or something along those lines and he was clearing up on reds 
Matt only had the black left. Yeah, I, I can't remember. Yeah. Oh, Alzheimer's is kicking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask us. You, you're the one griffin, it. We're not. <laughs> Bit of a discrepancy there. They want us to have a look. But yeah. If they haven't got a ref, they've got to do it themselves, unfortunately. Yeah. But we are just going to double check on our. Uh... Pull that back. <laughs> Red first. Yeah. All right, you tell him. Yeah, we agree. That was a bit wild. <coughs> bit wasteful there from Guinea. Didn't open up any of the pockets. Yeah, sorry, I'm 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 busy doing technical things yeah, at the moment. Techie, techie. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. Just press live again if you want to get back. Yeah, no, I'm on live. Yeah, he's delayed. Oh, yeah. That's short. That's a foul as well, isn't it? I believe, because nothing hit a cushion. No hit cushions. So he's only got one shot here, really, depending on how he's feeling. Yeah. He needs to clear that pocket, and he either needs to hold the pocket if he doesn't feel too confident for whatever reason. <coughs> but he's got a couple of bad balls here. I don't see that as his best shot. Hmm. I mean, it's going to be Snooker City now, but... <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so this was kind of reverting back to what I was saying in the earlier on frame when you said that if he was free flowing he'd take yeah. it out rather yeah. than, than go a bit defensive but but surely if you've got a free shot you're clearing the top left hand back oh 100% no, I'd, I'd, I mean to a degree I would have used the yellow that he hit um, and potted to go into them but I just think you're... Yeah, you're so yeah I see what you mean, but... But, it's, but yeah. To, to, um, yeah. to some respects, you can almost go too negative at some point. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. And the more negative you get when you come to trying to clear them up, whether it's simple, a little bit of candling or whatever, mm. you can make mistakes because yeah. you've played more negative yeah. than you have positive. And these are the frames as well, especially at 12 all, knowing that you've not played your best. Yeah. Um, and uh, these scrappy frames are the ones that you need to win. They're the ones you, you look back on. Yeah, but they're the ones as well that the make or break the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 100%. Oh. But this is, what, this is what I'm referring to, is that obviously we all know Gilly is a, a very good player, but if you've doubted yourself a little bit you yeah. played that being ne negative yeah. when it comes to these moments as we were just saying you can that little D cell that he's had yeah but it's, it's, it, it, I've been saying it all night now Gilly normally has that cue ball mm. on a piece of string yeah and uh, um, and his cue ball control is usually on good. point yeah he takes and a that, few risks every yeah. now and then but but tonight that, that cue ball has been on a bit of elastic right um, been a bit springy yeah, he's, he's overrun a few, he's underrun a few. Um, yes, the, Connor, I agree, very strange. Yeah, um, I mean, the first session, um, Gilly came out 4-3 up. I was going to say, it went 4-3, four, 4-3, three, four, three, didn't it? Yeah, but he could have quite easily lost that session 5-2. Right, see, I missed the early one, because yeah. when I first tuned in, it was 5-4, I think. Yeah, but um, Gilly was getting some nice little flicks he was, yeah. he was clipping the jaws and it was landing nice um, then sort of like halfway through the match it changed um, interesting shot choice here yeah you're not allowed to jump it Matt no. <laughs> there, is a nice little, there is a nice little shot off the, the uh, bottom Jaw, left knuckle yeah. 
a bit of a ding 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 yeah. ding across I mean, the cushion. He d- yeah, he, he's got an up and down as well because the gap between those two reds. Um, I mean, at this at this stage, you're just looking at trying to hit it. Yeah. Um, I got to admit, knowing my game, I wouldn't use the jaws because I can't do that shot. Mm. <laughs> um, I mean, when you play that type of shot, anyway, it's, it's more yeah. luck than judgment. I mean. As much, it's not yeah. something that you can practice because no. you never know when you're going to be in that position. Yeah. The white ball can change. Like if that, where that white is now, it's perfect to play the shot. Yeah. But if that's half a roll over to the right or the left, well, yeah, you, not so much the left towards the cushion, but half a roll to the right. Yeah, you've missed you, it. You, yeah. You're struggling. But he's got a natural angle to come off this bottom cushion as we look at it. Yeah. Go through the gap. Um, I like this from a positive point of view. <laughs> Great shot. That was the only problem. Yeah, I was going to say he's got, he's got a big double. Yeah, now. but I was going to say with the up and down, as long as you hit the yellow, it goes in. You've and got a double. This is this is a double buster now because if he if he doubles this, yeah, Gilly's gonna. Yo, oh, yeah, it's huge. <sighs> Gilly's gonna go after a quiet word of himself. Yeah. Well, whoever wins this frame, there are two frames of waiting from winning. Um, and anyone who's played. Not so much cash league games or anything like that. Here it is. Oh, wait I was for say it, it went deathly quiet for a minute. Um, there. Anyone who, not not so much cash league in the short runs, but anyone that's played any significant money matches in mm. terms of that, I'd much rather be two frames away than one. Yeah. Being on the hill is the worst feeling in the world. It doesn't matter whether you've got a five frame cushion. Like they say, the first frame and the last frame and two hardest frames to win. Yes. And it sets tones that first frame. Yeah. Now yeah. this is where Gilly needs his cue ball control to come back to him. He's he's got a bit of forgiveness here though, because if it was me, I'd play the one through the gap. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Because you've got a yeah. choice then. But now he's got to leave the one directly in line with the red, the white as his last ball, because he needs the angle. Yeah. So he just wants to play this one to the top left pocket as we look at it um, bottom left small mean. bottom left <laughs> well no top left because it's break zone yeah I know but it's bottom left yeah. as we look at it <laughs> but, but um, no he, he, he needs to play that one he just he needs to draw it back because then he's got an option he can either play it off the side cushion with a bit of top right to bring it back for the black or yeah. if he if he screws back far enough like worst case scenario even if he screws it back to where the white is now it's still good out yeah I was going to say he, he needs it just a little bit short of where he is now yeah a roll in front towards the, the pocket he's aiming at. Yeah. But he just doesn't want to overcomplicate this because the more he thinks about it, and this is again going back to the playing a bit negative for the a few frames, this is where it changes your shot yeah. choice. Because an on form Gilly would have done this by now. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. That is actually a good shot. Considering he was frustrated where it was then. Yeah. I was going to say, has he got That's enough to clip the black? Yeah, very good That's shot. That's a good shot. Yeah. It was a risky shot, because if he missed that, if he but, missed that, yeah. that white's halfway down the table and that black's yeah. still stuck. But those three balls... And to take out those, those three balls, um, huge. Right, big break now. This is a big break because if this goes dry, if and Mark, those open, but his, his racking has not been the best tonight. That's probably one of his better racks of the night, and he's gone dry. Because this is massive now. Because if if Gilly can snipe this frame, he's got the break for being on the hill. Yeah. And a big difference tonight as well compared to last time. Last time, Gilead, I think, six, seven or eight 
brake stroke reversed issues. Oh, okay. There has not been one tonight. No. Well, no, Craig thinks Matt had a reverse dish earlier, but if he that's did, it. that's the only one. I did think of something else as well, by the way, for the stream. Because you know how we've got like the brake and dish? Yeah. And stuff like that. You need one that says foul. Mm, yeah. I think that would be quite good. Oh. Take it. Yeah. Always difficult as well when you've got that cluster down there and a couple of the opponents ball in the way because you just you're a bit stuck. And actually, I think in this occasion he's actually done himself a favour by missing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, he's laughing at jokes from behind us now, which is. Um, a marked yeah. contrast to what he was oh, a little 100%. bit earlier. 100%. But as I've said all the way through this, Gilly is a great front runner. Hmm. That was a good shot. It's very unlucky where it's landed, but it was a good shot. And I've got a funny You've feeling got that. Got yeah. now. I've got a funny feeling that red that is right on top of that yellow, I think that goes in the top right hand bank. Mm -hmm. Every potential. Yeah. So. And even if it doesn't, if you flick off the yellow. Yeah, you you, you cover in the bag cover or the bag, yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, I was going to say you've got to take that one, and so that is what? a great yeah. shot. Tell you what, take that from there. Yeah, that was a great shot. Because you've got a nice little angle off this one well, into the middle. This, this, to this get on that one down the bottom now. Yeah, but um, this is where you've got to make the choice now. You're either clearing up from here or you're playing safe at some point. Yeah. And you've got to make the decision fair. Well, you. He, he's now he's got to drop this one in the middle on the yeah, left hand see, side see, and on, he's got to get on that one on the bottom on, and he's either going to pot the, it and go for it now. or he's got to cover the bag see I'm the opposite I'm leaving that one because I want that one to disturb the one over the pocket right yeah granted he's played the shot that you've said mm. but he's going to now be looking at a skilly for that um, I'm not 100% sure he can get through to that one yeah, that red, that, red, that, red. that red that's on the, the top spot, or the black spot, whichever spot that is, um, that goes past that other yellow on the left to get through. So he Yeah, no, I'm on the, the, the one right, yeah, yeah which the, he's the one he's going for now. Yeah, oh. Slap and tickle. Yeah. Here's your chance of Mr. Gilfillan. <laughs> Oh, he's in total control of this frame now. Those three yellows around the black, covering the, the top left bag. Um, Gilly's only, in total control of this frame now. His only... He is and he isn't, because if he clears the... Let's say Gilly misses. Don't expect him to, because I think he's he's got his head screwed back on now. I think he's going to play safe in a minute. I've got a funny feeling he's going to play safe in a minute. The, th the thing is, if... if Gilly did miss, and he then plays that red in the middle of the table. That needs to run. Got away with it. Yeah, he's all right. But he's okay. Um, he's, he's now going he's for it. He's not playing red, safe The now. red's a double, if you got rid of that one from the middle. Yeah. That's all right. Still a bit loose from Gilly. Yeah, I think he would have preferred the plant, maybe. But he's well, got he's the one in the middle, and then he'll play the plant. <coughs> Got so many different ways. Yeah, yeah. You can drop the one over the bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Plop, plop. Yeah. I mean, they're all plops. Yeah, pretty much. I will go for the commentator's curse, but they are plops. <laughs> Mary Ploppins, as they say. Mary Ploppins. She wants her balls back. See, oh. silly shot. Yeah. Silly, silly. I wouldn't shot. have gone anywhere near the. No, back. you didn't have to either. No. He could have played the the yellow into the middle that is to the right of the white now as we look into the middle, then he could have played the plant. Yeah, exactly. But now he's going to have to force the issue. And yeah. yeah, there's no need to again, play that yellow he played. Again, I know I've, I've not said it a couple of times, but this is where him playing negative earlier rather than being free flow, like you yeah. were saying, comes into mind. Yeah. Because he's now thinking to myself, oh, I can just about do that rather mm. than having the confidence saying, no, that's not the right shot. Yeah. So it does play factors. Because I think that red is stopping the natural double on the black. He might be able to squeeze over the top of it. I'm not 100% sure. If you're high side of it, you could play that with force into the yeah. bottom right. 
He's got. Oh. I was just about to say he's got very lucky there, but it was a bit of a hit and strike. But to be but he's, fair, he's, he's, he's got a re double he, and the treble. Yeah, he's <laughs> got a reverse double into the middle left bag. He's got a fat double into the bottom right. And the white around the angles. He's got to miss that red. Yeah, there you go. And now he's reverse double in the middle again. He's got it either way. Or he can go, the yeah. Double into the bottom yeah, top right, right yeah. The reverse third cut. Oh, he's jawed it. This is not an easy finish. No, it's not. See, if, it, if this was me now in Matt's situation, because you can't get enough dig into that white to get that uh, red off the yeah. below the pocket. Take this one into there, pop the one at the top, and then hide yourself beyond the top one on the rail. That's oh, a bad miss. miss it that is a bad miss. These aren't easy, though. No, they're not. Together. Yeah. In the circumstances. Again, middle of the frame, he'd be down, back, gone. And again, if Gilly was as free-flown as I know he can be, I would put him odds on to pot this one. And he's done it. Yeah. Mark is on the hill. Hills are alive with the sound of Gilfillan. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to get it? Well, if he does, Kev Gemmell's uh, prediction has come true. Well, his second prediction. <coughs> Kev Gemmell's first prediction was 15 5 again, but he's now changed it to 15 12. <laughs> And he wasn't terribly confident about that about half hour ago. <laughs> George is rooting on for Gilly. Big break from Gilly here now. Yeah. And Gilly's break has not been his best tonight. Well, let's see if he turns up. White pot. <sighs> and he's potted one off the break as well. <laughs> How do you like your yellows in the morning? I mean, it's, it's a, a tough first shot. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, reds ain't bad either. No, but again, it's not an easy first shot, is it? Yeah, I mean, he's got easier. the cut in the middle. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought he'd be yeah. got to go. It's a big shot. Oh, oh hang about. Oh, oh. oh no. There right, Matt needs to take these out. <laughs> Matt they has now, got to take these out. They have now become... Plops. Yeah, and he's got to take it out. You've got to. Didn't need to hit it so hard. Tracer side would have just brought him up rather than mm. hitting it hard. Now he's going to have to go. He's going to have to hope for a bit of a. He's got to go thin. He's got to well, he's cannon go something to keep him on something. Yeah, but because you because it's so thin, that's yeah. your risk. I mean, granted, again. There's not much hardship here for Reds. We'll see, Kev. We'll see. You can't change your mind five times. Yeah, Kev. Mm. That's strange. Yeah, no, I, I get why he's done it, though. Why? I do get why he's done it. i, I got to admit... Put, he, is he putting him under pressure for no reason? Yeah, I, well, I think he's trying to just put the black up the top to make Matt have to... Yeah, I get Play that. a good I, shot to I, get on it. I get that, but at this stage of the game, yeah. that is so risky. i got to admit, it's not a shot I would have played. I get why he's played, but it's not a shot I would have played. Oh, I would have not been fucking touched. Not at all. He should. If he wants the best position now, he needs to get rid of the one over the bag. Yeah, he's got to just stun up a little bit for a middle. Well, again, it's, it's a bit like the shot we said with Gilly earlier. If he yeah. plays it off the right, it's going to be knuckle slash cushion. Mm. Yeah, I don't like this. I just did, I didn't no. take it. No, I wouldn't have gone that way either. I'm like you. I mean, I happy, happy birthday, Gilly. Once he clears the red next to the black on the left as we look at it, if he can just stun this in and leave the white dead. If 
that, see, if that red still goes into the same pocket, it yep. should be game over. Yeah, he's all right. I want to know who, wear loaf who, who wears loafers. Who wears loafers? Oh, look in the chat. Wearing loafers with jeans. Sign, Sign of a weak mentality. mentality. <laughs> who is the life of 4D? I don't know, he's not told me. And Mr. Darts is about as well, and he's not told me his name either. Or if he did, I missed it. <laughs> I'm loving the numbers on the stream tonight, peeps. Yeah, it's, I was just uh, about great. to mention that. 91 tuned Currently in right viewing. now. Love that. Loving it. And thanks for all the extra sponsors for today as well. Yeah, so, loving that. Picked up five. Yep. Five for today. Yep. Very much appreciate if you're supporting the stream. Anytime anybody wants to, don't hesitate to give Q Sports Live a shout. <laughs> or you can come and talk to myself or Darren yeah. individually if you want to. We're quite happy to negotiate packages depending on length. And what you want. Yeah. We will cater for you. Yes. As best we can. Indeed. Gilly's just got to be careful here. He doesn't want to he just go rolls anywhere down near the in off. Yeah, no, he just well, rolls not the in off, but he doesn't yeah. want to knock his yellow in. No. And he yeah, doesn't want to be too straight. No, he's got an angle. This should it's be a it. At this stage, he's got to force it to create the angle. That's yeah. the only uh, issue. I don't think he needs to force it. He, he, oh, is that going to land right on top of it? That's what I mean oh, by he had to force it. He's got a shot to the middle. He's got a shot. Could this be I mean, it? I still fancy him to take him out. No. Yes, he's there. Wow. What a match. In from, from what I've seen, we've had a B standard game. Tonight. Yes, we have. Yeah. No. That's no offence to Matt. No, no. What I'm saying is, is that it's been a great match. It's not been the best standard from either. Yeah. Well, um, they, a better no, standard from Matt. Yeah, better than what he did last time. Um, certainly not the gilly we all know. No, um, for sure not. But what he has done tonight... Yes, Kev, well done. <laughs> but what he has done tonight is... Um, he's known as a good front runner. Mm. And that but he's, he's proven tonight that he can hang about. Yeah. And he's come from behind and he's managed to take the win. Yeah. He was 12 9 down. He's come back and he's won six, six on the bounce yeah, yeah. to win the match. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Um, I, I, again, this is no offence to, to Matt because we know Matt can play the game. Yeah. And he's obviously massively improved as much as Gilly hasn't played his best. No. But he's obviously hit the practice table a bit and, he, and he's yeah. definitely upped his game. And he's also held his nerve yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I think against a slightly better opponent, Gilly would have been put away tonight. tonight oh yeah, on tonight's yeah, basis. Yeah. That's, oh yeah, yeah. that's only tonight's yeah. basis. But. And on that note, people... Are we going to get Gillian? Should we get Gillian? No, I've got to go and give him some money. I well, I know you've got to go and give him some money, but yeah, at the same time... I don't time, think you want to come on. I don't know. You can I'll always ask him. Gilly, do you want to come I'd just like to say goodnight, guys. I have been here in spirit. He has. Craig has been here. Huh? Do you want to come and have a chat with people? Yeah. Well, there's 91 of them watching. Matt wants to come in as well. Matt's going to come on. Watching. We'll get Matt on first. Come on, Matt. Yeah, they're going to come he on. Can he can have my headphones. Come round. Introduce him then. I'm lucky, mate. Well right. played, though. Cheers, mate. Chuck them on. Chuck them on. He's moving. That's right, you can stand there and do yeah. it. Right, you're going to have to get your head a little bit closer. Right, Matt. Very unlucky, mate. Um, yeah, put up a bloody good fight tonight. Um, you've got to say, commiserations. 15 12 in the end. How do you feel? How do you think you played? Um, well, to answer your first question, obviously a bit gutted being 12 yeah. 9 up. Um, but uh, unfortunately, that's for me, that's the quality the mark's got, you know. Sometimes, um, you know, I fancied it when I was 12 9 up. Um, I should have just stayed a bit stronger. I started missing a few, and then he started getting a bit stronger. 
Um, and all I can say is fair play for it. He deserved it in the end. So I've, there's no qualms for me over that. No, well said. Well said. And, um, all credit to you for coming back um, and playing the rematch, um, especially after the result of the first time. Um, with Matt winning, uh, with Mark winning 15-5, um, to actually come back today, play the rematch and come out 15-12, albeit not in your favour, massive improvement, massive improvement, and I'd, I'd just got to say, very well done. Very oh, well thank done. you, Dave. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, like, yeah, like I said, I'd like to say, that, yeah, well done for Mark. You know, he, he deserved it in the end. Um, I think in the second quarter or the third quarter or something like that I, I, I upped it a bit yeah um, and I potted put some nice balls and that um, still got I still got a little bit more in my tank I feel but obviously it just wasn't my night tonight um, but um, I'll definitely be back though no good a uh, bit more on the practice table and yeah yeah I'd, I'd, yeah you, you've improved massively since last time I think a little bit more on the practice table and yeah yeah, we'll yeah, see you again. I will do. Yeah, you definitely yeah, will. Definitely no, thanks. Um, and big congratulations to you as well. Um, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Um, if it weren't for you, um, I don't know where we'd be, to be honest. You know, but um, yeah. So fair play to you. Um, keep up the good work. And um, yeah, and I'll be back hopefully. Thank you, mate. Take Thank care, you. mate. Yeah, and you, mate. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Well done. Well done, guys. Thanks a lot. Come on, Gilly. Yeah. 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 Here he comes then. <laughs> Stick there on your ears. I can't listen to music when I'm talking. No, you're music. not. You're listening to me. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh. No, you're just going to stand there, mate. Where's your microphone? Yeah. 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 It's always one awkward one. And here we go, Mark Gill filling. Good evening. Well done. 15 12. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, happy to win, obviously, but. I was so poor in the middle section. From 7-4 up, I think I went 7-2 lost from there, so I think I was like 12-9 down. Yeah. You know, and I think there was a shot at 12-9 where he, I think he went in off, potentially 13-9. Mm. I'm probably gone there, to be fair, as everyone knows me. I've yeah. probably gone home then already. Yeah. <laughs> My jeans will still be here, but I'll be at home tucked up. There was a comment you made, I, I, I heard you made behind me. I'm not going to say what it was. But I didn't I, hear myself say it, so yeah. it doesn't count. I heard it. Um... And I was like, yeah, he's, his head's gone. Yeah. His head's gone. Um, but, yeah, I think tonight you've proven a little bit that you weren't on your best form tonight. No. Um, we all know you as a very, very good front runner. Mm -hmm. um, you do beat yourself up when you're behind mm -hmm. and yeah. when you're missing a few. And, like, I mean, it has not been your best night. No. And that but you've stuck at it. You've got frustrated with yourself, but you've managed to rein it back in. Yeah. Um, you've given yourself a bit of a talking to, and you've managed to, well, you've won, you, you won six on the bounce there to yeah. take the win. I think if Matt played like he did in that middle section, early doors or at the end, I, I would have been out of sight. Like he'd have beat me 15-5 easy. He played really well in that middle period. Yes, he did, yeah. I yeah. think there was a, ch like I say, that turning point at 12-9, when he could have gone 13-9. Yeah. So he'd gone, but yeah. You know, I, I got lucky and, you know, there's a couple of frames to go up when I hit the jaw a couple of times. It's my favourite jaw ever, by the way. I'm going to kiss that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we actually said right at the beginning, it was sort of like the first third of the match. Um, it was like watching myself play because the, uh, the little flicks you were getting, the little rubs off the jaw, everything. Well, I thought I'd say it before anybody else did. Um, yeah, the... Literally, all those little bits, they all went your way. Yeah. And then I think it was when you went for that one in the middle bag and it popped back out again, to go it all forward. switched. Yeah. It all switched. It then started going Matt's yeah. way a little bit more. You weren't getting those little flicks like yeah. you were. Um, and like you say, Matt did play a pretty strong second third of the Yeah, match. he did. He really played really well. Um, and that, um, but yeah, I, I think you've proven to a lot of people tonight that you can dig in, yeah. you can hang in there, yeah. um, and you still can win when you're not playing your best stuff. Yeah, I think a lot of my losses or near losses, uh, I think I'm playing two people, him and myself. Yeah, you are, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I put myself under a lot of pressure thinking I should care up all the time, and the best players in the world can't yeah. do that, so why should yeah. I be able to do that? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, yeah no. Um, 
Very, very well done tonight. Thanks, mate. I appreciate um, it. I suppose I'd better give you some money, and I? Well, yeah. What? And the other money? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You ain't going to have any of that. <laughs> Great stream once again. Everyone Thank you, mate. Get on this and let's get sorry, down sorry, up there. Sorry, Cheers, there you mate. go. 500 smackaroonies. Thank you very much, mate. More than welcome, mate. Yeah. Well done. We'll spend that tomorrow night, will we? Yeah, we will, yeah. <laughs> And on that note, people, uh, thank you very much for tuning in this evening. I will see you on...